This looks good. This does not. No, no. Terrible. Just no. I mean, what? No, 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 no. This is terrible. It looks like I've got a lot of work to do around here. Hello everyone, my name is Endivar and welcome back to another episode from the Ramblecraft server. Okay, so today we are going to be doing some stuff on the surface because I do have a big crazy base underground. I also have a pretty decent starter house, but the rest of it is all starter farms. I, I can't have this. This, this has got to change. I've got trees planted in a straight row, random nether trees. I've got coral stuff over here, big hole in the ground, very efficient slime farm, but it's ugly. What I want to do, I want to do something similar to what I did with this landscape in here and really add something to this place. I really want to get it looking really, really good. I think the first thing I need to do is rip out some of these ugly farms. Let's not waste any time. Let's get some work done. Okay, so everything is looking a lot cleaner now. We've got rid of all those starter farms, got rid of the trees, all of the crops over here. We left the cows and the chickens for now. Obviously, I can't just get rid of those straight away, but we will build some nicer looking pens eventually. I also was running very low on grass as well, so that's why I've been taking it all from over here. I know this looks a complete mess at the moment, but bear with me, this is going to look good. Over at this end, the landscape is going to completely change. There's no... There's going to be pretty much nothing natural left around here. So that's why I started digging out the grass from over here. So I could build up a stock of grass and dirt to use everywhere else. But also make a start on doing this. Now we're not going to be doing this bit today. Because this is a massive project all on its own. But what we want to be concentrating on is what we're doing over here. So I've done a little bit of landscaping. Got rid of some of the pools. I have left a couple of them because I do want to do some like decorative things with those. But before we get to that, I think the next thing I really want to do is do a little bit of the landscaping around the edge. Because I did say when I did this last bit of landscaping, I wanted to put like a dock along this edge. And I think that could look pretty cool. It's going to be fairly straight this one. Uh, maybe follow the landscape a little bit. But then just have like a wooden dock along the edge of a, a stone wall. Then over here, what I want to do is take advantage of this shape we've got here. I'll dig out this bit because this looks so unnatural this bit but I think this could be like an entry point to have like a harbour here. It's not it's not going to be huge but I think it's it's a fair size. I could do a cool little harbour in there and then I thought this point here would be really good to have like a lighthouse. We'll have this all built up like a, a brick wall all the way around it and then a path coming down here up to lighthouse I thought that could look really good. And then you may also notice this dirt pillar here. I've had an idea and that is this. I have a water drop down. I don't know why I always take damage here, but anyway, this goes straight down into my storage area. Now, originally, I wanted to do it exactly in the middle here, but unfortunately, that goes right through my base. So the next level up, it just dropped through that. So I moved it just down here where we haven't got anything above, and it, and it is literally about two blocks. I think the wall of the farms above here is this block here. So it goes right down next to it, but I thought this should look, work fairly well. So this isn't too far from my storage area and then going the other way this just goes into my xp farm so i've got my skeleton and spider spawners down there but we can't just leave this as a dirt pillar so what i do actually want to do bearing in mind this is going to be a harbor i think there's going to be some kind of building here so this will all be nice and enclosed as well we're not going to have any creepers or skeletons dropping down there so we'll have a cool building around that and then it's just an easy way of getting right down to the bottom of my base and straight into the storage area okay so let's make a start on this dock so here we've got the end of our terraform that we did a couple of episodes ago and I ended it here because this is where I want to start the dock and what I want to do, I did just say I was going to go across that way and I am, 
But I also think I want like a jetty going out this way. If we just go out in a straight line this way, that could look pretty cool. And then we'll have this about seven wide. So let's let's just max out a little bit. So I'll say about this far, because I do intend on building some ships in here at some point, but I don't want it too big because ships are definitely not my area of expertise. So if you just go one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. And then this is going to be actually a few blocks out of the water. And then we're going to have a wooden walkway around the side of it. For now, I'll just mark it out at the water level and we can try and get a feel for what we're going to be building. Yeah, you know, now I've seen this, I think it needs to be bigger in both ways. So I'm going to go, let's go nine wide. So that'll bring it out to here. And then I also, I think it should go out further and then maybe turn in at the end as well. I think that'd be really good. So we're going to go, that's going to be the width of it, yeah. And then we'll go a bit further this way. Okay, yeah, so I've expanded that out a little bit and then gone that way a little bit as well. And that is definitely looking a lot better to me. I think now what I want to do is dig back this land a little bit. So we can have this coming back a little bit further and then we'll turn this way and we'll have another steep wall. And it's, it's going to be about this height actually. So it's going to be poking out of the water quite a lot. But I think that could look pretty good. Nice and foreboding. So let's do it. On oh, this here, this is the first little thing I dug in. On the first that first night, that crazy first night. When everyone was dying, this is where I was hiding, just down here. Oh, it's a shame this is going to get covered up now. And just while I'm getting on with this first little bit, quick apology. I did say I was going to build a gold farm in this episode. But if you are following my single player series, you'll know I've been up to some crazy stuff in that world. Mainly in the nether. I've been fixing up my gold farm, spawn proof in the nether, and fixing my bartering storage. So... I didn't want to come back onto Ramblecraft and do something in a gold farm because I do my best to keep these series as different as I can. I know they are both vanilla survival, but I do take a different approach with both the series. Ramblecraft is more of a traditional mega base, keeping everything in the same place, just doing everything all at the same time. Whereas my single player world, it is a bit more building focused. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of techie stuff going in there. I've got a quad witch up perimeter that I've dug out and... There's lots of crazy farms, but I do try and focus more on builds in that world. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you haven't seen any of my single player series yet, then please feel free to check it out. But for now, let's have a look at what we've got going on at these docks. Okay, so we've made a little bit of progress there. Dug a little bit of this mountain out and built a few stone rectangles. I know, and that took quite a while. But we're getting a feel for how this is going to look. And you'll notice in that time lapse as well, I did extend this one out quite a bit. So I'm thinking of having this as more of a harbour as well. So we need like a protective wall if it's going to have any ships in here. So it was it definitely made more sense to extend this out this way. And aside from making sense, I do think it's going to look a lot cooler as well. So this bit here, I was going to try and incorporate this somehow, but I think I'm actually going to get rid of it. So just have this as like a, a U shape and I'll probably curve the walls around as well. I, I'm not 100% on that yet, but that's what I'm thinking. And then down here, this does actually need to extend all the way down. So that's not going to be fun. That I'm going to go through a lot of stone doing that. And especially over here where it's really, really deep, I may have to do a little bit of terraforming so I don't have to go all the way down. But, you know, it's all right. Then around this side, I think I'm going to extend this wall when I eventually get it built all the way around here. Just caving around this landscape as it is. And then we are going to have like a stone walkway at the top as well. It's all going to look like well built up. It's not, not like grass like we've got now. And then around here, I'm definitely going to stick with this harbour idea. I think I'm actually going to change my mind a little bit. What I want this to be is like an early version. I think this would be a good location for like an early rustic dock slash harbour. So this one will probably be mainly wood. And then we've got the more built up one over here so you can imagine that they outgrew this one and then they expanded over here and built something a bit more fit for purpose so i think that'd be quite cool to try and have two slightly different styles showing a little bit of progress over time i think that could be pretty good so i think the next thing i want to do is actually start detailing these walls but i stopped here because i ran out of stone so i need to go back down to my storage area grab some stone and then we'll try and do a little, little bit more building. And out of habit, I went across to my starter house to go down to my storage area. But 
that's not what I should be doing now, is it? I should be going down here. Okay, so I've grabbed some stone and some stone bricks. And what I'm using the stone bricks for is to do actually do a little bit of detailing on the sides of these walls. Because we don't want these just big old boring flat stone walls. So we're going to have columns of stone brick going all the way up. And then there'll probably be some kind of arch in between them. I don't have it all figured out yet. But what I've been doing here, I've just marked from this corner. I probably should have worked out properly first, but I didn't. So, you know, don't judge me. I've marked from this corner. And I've left a gap of five between each one. Because I think that could look pretty good for the size that we've got here. And I was hoping it would line up perfectly with this one. That's what I mean by working it out. And unfortunately, it's off by one. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. And because I've run out of stone on this one anyway, it's not a problem. I haven't wasted too much time. So all I need to do is bring out this wall just one further. And then this will line up perfectly. So that's why it's out pretty well. So I'm going to take a little bit of time. Get this wall moved across. Get these stone pillars built up. And then we can try and figure out what we're doing with the rest of it. Okay, so now those walls are in place and we've got the pillars all the way around. And that is looking pretty good to me. Definitely a good start. But now we need to turn it from just being a wall into an actual dock so i've got a few more to do there but we'll get to that because the next thing i want to do is figure out what height i'm going to put these at so there's going to be a walkway it's going to be maybe three or four wide and i think if it was for like small boats this height would be good but i think this one is going to be more for the biggest ships so what we're going to do is start it at this height and see how that looks so let's just do a little bit and we'll step back. So we're going to have supports in here as well. It's not just going to be like a floating thing, but I'm running really low on spruce wood. I've just turned a load of it into slabs, which was probably a little bit of a mistake. But we'll just have a go with this for now and see how it looks. So what we've got there? That's three from the pillar. Yeah, so let's try that. And then we'll do these pillars as well in line with the stone ones. And this is all going to be terraformed under here as well. I'm not going to leave it flat like this. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be real rocky. We're going to have a lot of the seagrass and kelp and stuff under there. So it's going to look really good. But for now, I just want to get above water level done. And I think what would be really good as well if we mix some trapdoors into this. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. So no, that's all I got. Right. So let's have a flyweight and see how that looks. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's definitely going to work. So what we need to do now is continue this all of the way around. So this is going to go all the way like in a U-shape around here. And I think at the end here as well. And then the next bit I need to figure out is the height of these. Because I've, I have built these up to here. But I, I think this one is actually a little bit too high. What I think I want to do is have it about three or four blocks above this one. So then I can have a staircase down which will bring this down a little bit lower. And then this one is probably going to be about that height. And then if this one's a few blocks lower, we can just have a fairly short staircase going that way. And I think that'd be pretty good. Okay, so up on this top section of the wall, this is actually going to be the floor height, the block I'm stood on now. So they will be going back at this height. But I'm going to fill in two blocks high. Just in case I want to use some gravel or concrete or anything on here, it'll, I don't have to mess about. Now, I normally use dirt for this, but dirt is pretty precious for me at the minute. So I'm going to use stone because I've got an absolute ton of it. So I'm going to fill all this in around here, but I'll probably do this in a time lapse when I eventually get everything figured out. Out. So I've just done a little bit over here as well, so I can also figure out where how high this is going to be. But I need to stop flying as well, because I've just noticed my elytra very, very close to breaking. So I need to get that sorted as well. So how are we going to do this? I don't know exactly where I want the staircase. I don't know if it's going to be... This one's going to be lower, isn't it? So I can actually dig this out, but I need to be careful that I don't disrupt this too much okay i think i've got this figured out now what i've decided to do is have a set of three stairs going up from the height of where this deck is and then this height here is going to be where this is going so i need to dig this wall down it's only two blocks lower than what i thought originally and then i think that should put us pretty good for this one at the end so if i go down two here see what this looks like and it's getting dark brilliant so is that two yeah and then that's only a couple down from there. So I think that will work really well. So yeah, let's go have a sleep. Okay, so this is coming together now. The only thing I'm a little bit bothered about is that I've brought out this landscaping up to this point here. So if I 
bring everything down to this level, that's going to look a bit silly at this side, isn't it? So I think I am actually going to have to adjust this. I'm going to have to dig out all of this here and then bring the dock back to over here somewhere. I could actually have it slope down a little bit. I suppose if the dock is at this height, sorry, the, uh, the stone is going to be at this height like this so if i just have this land slope down a little bit it could just meet it in the side yeah i think that'll definitely work so anyway i will figure that out once i get going and then i need to put this in and then i also need to do some kind of design over here as well i've got any stairs on me yeah i have them right so i'm thinking some kind of archway like this I am completely winging this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do here. And then maybe sw swap these out for the chiseled stone brick. Think that, that could look good as well. Yep, yeah, that's not the best looking thing in the world, is it? But I will definitely figure something out. So, now I've got this all worked out, I think it's time to jump into a time lapse and get this thing finished. Okay, I think it's safe to say that was a very productive time lapse. Yes, look at this. This is looking very fancy now. So, as you saw, we got all of this finished, got all the deck in, and we've capped off these spruce pillars with the polished andesite as well. I think that looks pretty good. And the reason I did that was to tie into the design I came up with around here. So, I got rid of that rubbish arch design, that just wasn't working for me, and I just run a strip of polished andesite all the way across breaking up with a bit of the stone bricks and then doing some fancy stuff with the stone stairs down below and then we've got the lanterns supported from above uh, every pillar and that lights up this thing so it's completely mob proof now and then over here just to vary it a little bit i've put the lanterns below rather than having them stick out too far on this side on this end one this is much more simple there's no protection on this one it's just a complete drop off and we've got lanterns on the end to light this up as well. But there are some spawnable spots. So I have put a few torches in the middle, which isn't great. But I'll ha I'll come up with some hidden lighting thing anyway, so we can get rid of those eventually. And then on here, there's a few dark spots as well. So we do need to take care of that. And I did spend quite a lot of time when I was building these platforms. And of course, this one up here as well to vary up the textures. Not this bit here. That doesn't prove my point. Over here, I did quite a lot of that. Just, just to make it all look nice and rough. And I do want to do that with the walls down here as well. So I've got these and these bigger ones here. Just add in a lot of cobblestone and andesite. And then definitely down below, we're going to have a lot of the mossy stone brick and mossy cobble as well. Okay, so over here, I have just ended this. There is just a drop. And I don't actually think I'm going to bring it out this far. Because I, I think I want it to turn around here. Or even maybe have a cliff at this side. And then this just meet into it. So I've just left that there for now until I figure out what I'm actually going to be doing over here. And then they also do have this to do under here as well. So this does go down quite far. And as I don't have an absolute ton of spruce wood, I didn't continue this all the way down. And then the stone as well. This is going to be a bit of an issue. But we will get there. We will get all this done. And then the terraforming up on this flat bit up here as well. But I think for the first pass, I think this is very, very good. Very ha happy with the way this is looking. And it's given me a lot of inspiration for the rest of this island. So up here... I want to have a few more buildings. So this is going to be like the main part of the newer fishing village. Uh, we're going to have a few buildings up here, a few tall ones, a few, few tiny little ones as well. And then over here, as we've already said, this is going to be like the old rustic fishing village. I 
very excited about doing that one. And then that's going to incorporate the building that will be going down to my storage area. Lots of landscaping ideas as well. What I think I want to do is have this dip here as a, a pool. So I'm going to fill all that with water. Do a bit of landscaping in it as well. Add a lot of stone, gravel, coarse dirt, that kind of thing. And then from there, I think I want to dig out this section going through here. And have it come this way. Just follow the landscape as it is. And have but dig it down a lot further so it goes down into the ocean over this side. So I've got a little river. And then at this point somewhere, I can probably have a bridge going down here. And I think I want a little walkway going on this way. And then maybe just like a, a really tiny little dock at the back. I know I'm getting carried away with all these docks, but I think just having like a personal one for this house, that that could be a cool idea. And then everywhere else is going to be pretty much farmland. I want to have some like crazy wheat fields and lots, lots of other little stuff. None of it is going to be for my use. It's just purely decorative. But I think that always has something to these medieval kind of builds. And then over here, we are going to have a crazy mountain. It's going to be like a big volcano type thing. So the slime in the middle, and it's probably going to be like flowing out over the sides and over the landscape. And then we're going to have some crazy things growing out of it. So lots and lots of plans. Very excited about doing all of that. But as they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. And unfortunately, the same applies to this island. So I'm actually going to have to leave it there. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>